Electrician George DeBruno has a family of four to support and a construction job that lasts only eight more weeks. After that? After this one, you know, we don't know which one to happen. This is the three-prime job. Which is why seemingly humdrum meetings like this are so exciting for him. Their new construction bid meetings fueled by stimulus money. It's estimated 1.8 million jobs will be created in middle and low income fields by the stimulus. Jobs in construction, manufacturing, retail and hospitality. A third of those will be union construction jobs. Electricians, carpenters and project supervisors that typically pay three to six times minimum wage. The jobs are out there, the money's out there, you just need to get it. Right. If Al Brown's here, small, not. struggling welding business wins a contract, it'll mean spots for eight to ten workers. We're attending all the outreach meetings, uh, letting people know who we are, what we can do. In Philadelphia overall, $191 million of stimulus money is being used for mass transit work, managed by Bob Lund, 5,000 jobs in all. These are all people who, if that money wasn't available, wouldn't be working. That is correct. We're just waiting on the uh, check to actually hand the contract and start the work. Check is in the mail. Check is in the mail. For blue collar workers, the checks can't come quickly enough. Jeff Glor, CBS News, Philadelphia.